Okay, we made it to the egg vending machine. Gonna use our yen. <laughs> Everyone on base has been telling us about this egg vending machine and how amazing it is and how good the eggs are. So apparently they don't need to be like refrigerated and they're like orange on the inside, but we'll see. Let's go look. All right. What do we gotta do? How many eggs do you want? You don't know. Let's get a card. Yeah, let's just do, uh, should we just do one of these? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, a thousand. Bruh. Pretty sure it goes in head first. Bruh. Okay, well you gotta lift this up first. Oh, edit that out. <laughs> And we have a carton of eggs. Cute. And you just close this. And then you got our yen. Grab your leftover yen. Mm-hmm. And that was two dollars. Holla. And then this is like the little egg shop. And apparently there's a lot of little like egg themed trinkets and things like that. So this is what the packaging looks like. Super cute, this little dude is so cute. We weren't sure like where the egg vending machine was because we were just like, we just don't know the area very well, but we finally figured it out and there was a little like egg sign. They have their little egg theme person. So we got it and we're excited to see what these eggs taste like. Favorite place ever. Matt's gonna try this drink. I think it's lemonade. I'm not sure. We're not sure, but it's like carbonated lemon soda. Huh. Okay, and then I got my favorite drink. It is this peach drink? Um, it's sort of like a peach yogurt drink, but it's my favorite, and I'm addicted to it. And then this is... Egg salad sandwich. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't like egg salad, but um, that does... And it's like the breading is really good. I'm addicted to these like edamame packets. They're so good. Um, and then we got something new this time. These little churro donuts. So hopefully they're good, but how is it? Pretty good. Delicious. And now we're going to like an Asian grocery store to get some like authentic Asian groceries. Um, I've been to like Asian groceries in the States, but I'm guessing it's gonna be a lot different. Maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. store and I didn't get much footage because it was just so busy in there we came on a Saturday but it is nothing like grocery like Asian grocery stores in the US there's just so much more stuff and like so much more unique stuff um, we bought a whole bunch of stuff for supper just to like try so we'll film everything when we we're about to eat that but yeah it was pretty cool I think next time we'll go like not on a Saturday though because it was really overwhelming and there's just like everyone running around they but they also don't have plastic bags so you have to bring your own re reusable bag yeah so which is amazing because i know japan has a really big problem with plastic waste here um but we didn't know that and so <laughs> we like bought all this stuff and we're like uh, i don't know what to do with it but um it's called the universe that's the logo right there i think it's what it's called universe i don't know mm -hmm. and then homac is like 
on the other side and that's sort of like a home depot here and we've been there a few times but um yeah when we get back we'll show you all of our food that we're gonna eat and tell you if it's good or not good we decided to come out to the beach because it's such a nice day out and something to do before we eat our snacks and stuff um there's our car by the way one of our cars 2008 subaru impreza i think so here's matt setting up our little hammock our two-person hammock oh there's ants this is on the military beach and our house is like over there <laughs> Hmm, I mean the hammock's really low, so we might have to find a bigger tree. Let's keep going! <laughs> this is gonna take all day, but it's so pretty out, so I don't even care. Yes, on to our third location of setting up our hammock. But you know, it's what you gotta do when there's ants on your trees and the trees are too small. There's also like a ton of mosquitoes or like little gnats. We're not sure what they are, but should have brought bug spray. That probably would have been helpful as well, but we'll get through it. There's a whole bunch of tiny seashells everywhere. I love it. So cute. That looks better. You can also rent these cabins on base, they're pretty cute. But right now you can't because of the coronavirus. Hopefully there will be some um, lifting of those restrictions soon, but we'll see. Just chilling in Cedar Rapids. Just kidding, we're in Japan. <laughs> Matthew, what are you drinking? Drinking a Chuhai. Grapefruit. Mm-hmm, looks delicious. It's pretty good. You can't have any. Yep. I can't have any because your what? Your blood alcohol? The blood alcohol content for a technical DUI here is, in the States, it's 0 0.08, and here it's 0 0.03. So, if you think about most people, um, that's less than a beer, less than half a beer or half a beer. Um, so, they tell us, if you have even a sip of alcohol, do not drive. Because um, if you get pulled over by Japanese National Police, they will cite you for a DUI and you will be admitted guilty. You don't even get like, mm -hmm. like in America, you're innocent until proven guilty, mm -hmm. but the police can just automatically admit you guilty and then you have to bail out mm -hmm. or they can hold you for up to two months. Yeah. So in Japan, they have really like a high conviction rate. I think it's what it's called. It's like 99% or something mm -hmm. just because it's so, I don't know why probably just to like lower crime and stuff like that majority of the crimes like i know you just have to if they're like minor crimes you just have to pay like um a fine um and say you're guilty but if you like try to say you're not guilty it's this huge process and they can keep you in jail for like as long as they want so most that's why their conviction rate is like so high because everyone pleads guilty um because it's just it's awful, especially as a foreigner, like it's, it'd be so awful to be in like a foreign prison <laughs> for something, so. Okay, we're gonna try our little goodies that we bought at the grocery store. Matt's getting his chopsticks ready. So here's the sushi. I'm not really sure what's in it, but we'll find out. And then this is, what is it called? Inari. Inari. So I'm pretty sure it's just tofu in, wrapped in like, or fried in sweet stuff <laughs> i don't know and then that's chicken like chicken. just fried chicken and then we already had two of the mochi but the soy sauce mochi we both hated but the red bean one is so good <laughs> delicious amazing next we're gonna try the what ignari Inari. yeah so i thought it was tofu just kidding there's rice in there yep. so even better let's see And it's like sweet on the outside, right? Well, this is tofu. So the out outside is tofu, but it's just really, really thin tofu, and then the inside yeah, is rice. Yeah, it's, uh, it's sweet. Mm -hmm. The flavor of it, I'm not a fan of, but okay. I'm sure if you added like soy sauce. So we're trying to figure out what the fillings are. 
but Matt's gonna try some without soy sauce. I'm gonna try this far end one over here. It's pinkish, so it looks maybe like tuna, tuna or something. Yeah, it looks like tuna. It's pretty good. I think this middle one is gonna be my favorite, like the colorful one. Okay, I'm trying it with my fingers because I broke my chopsticks. Mm. It tastes like, <laughs> like a tuna salad sandwich or something, but with rice. Okay, next, it's my turn. Uh, I'm gonna try this weird, kind of looks like peanuts, but it's definitely <laughs> not gonna be peanuts. I think it's like some sort of urchin, like sea urchin, but I don't know. I don't know, it doesn't really <laughs> smell like anything, so. Yeah, neither one of us know. <laughs> You're like, what is that? It's a flavor I've never had in my life oh. before. Yeah, it's probably- It's not bad. It's probably urchin, like sea urchin. But it's also not Good. my favorite. I have no idea what this one is, so I'm gonna try that one. Okay, honestly, kind of scared to try this because I don't know what it is and I don't want it to be gross. <laughs> Like the flavor is fine, but the texture is like gooey and gritty at the same time. And I hate like certain textures. Mmm. So over here you're cooking some breakfast. What's your cooking? Uh, bacon and we're about to cook these orange eggs. Yummy. And then toast. All right, let's see how orange these eggs actually are. Whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, the yolk is just super orange. Interesting. Okay, cool. We'll let you know how it is. All right, here is the finished product. Got some eggs, bacon, and some toast. And then Matt, what do you got? Got some Starbucks. Cafe latte thing that we got at the store yesterday. Yum yum. And then you're turning yours into like a sandwich? Yeah, I'm gonna make a sandwich because I love egg sandwiches. Mm -hmm. This is what the yolk. Oh, yeah, it is. And super orange. So we concluded that the eggs taste pretty much the same. Like, we ha don't really like taste the difference. The bacon tastes a little different, and I, I honestly just think it's because it's thick bacon. I don't know if they have like thin bacon here or not, but it tastes a little different. And then the toast is like amazing. The bread is almost like like croissant. I don't know, it's like flaky and thicker, and it just tastes so much better. So bread was my favorite thing.